I've got five things left on the list and we're gonna do those today. Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kirsten. Today, I'm super excited because I'm going to be finishing off my 2022 bucket list goals. So at the beginning of the year, I made a list of 100 things that I wanted to get done this year. And I am so close. I've got five things left on the list and we're gonna do those today. So I finished this journal at the beginning of the year. I did this whole reflection of 2021 and preparation plan goal type thing for 2022. And with that came a hundred things that you wanted to do this year. This girl named Margo Lee, she's a YouTuber and she is really cool. She created this thing called New Pages and it was just a bunch of different like end of the year reflections, all of that kind of stuff. There were six different days and day six was goal setting. Write 100 goals you'd like to achieve in 2022 in present form. Some of them that I had was snowboarding, graduate AmeriCorps, celebrate Pelkey, my friend, we celebrated her birthday, um, finish the 75 hard, five pull-ups, go to the Hamptons, picnic with my sister, create my YouTube, so many different things. Like I literally had, this is my big ass list of 100 things and I am almost done with all of them. I'll be honest, like I did have to change a few because I kind of forgot that I made this and then a month or two ago, I was looking through it and I was checking all of the ones I had gotten off, but then there were some that I knew that I couldn't do. Like one was go sledding in Montana. And I'm like, well, I'm in New York now. Like I can't go sledding in Montana. We never went sledding in, Mon in Montana. So obviously I can't do that. So I changed them into new things, um, but I'm still getting a hundred things done. So that's super exciting. Swim in the ocean, hike, Korean barbecue, travel to a new place ice skating, get certified for tax returns, invest money, night out dancing, make new friends, reunite with old friends, find a place to live in the Hamptons, take pictures on my film camera, get my film camera pictures developed, watch the sunrise, stargaze, finish this journal, 30 day yoga with Bella, go to a concert, Monthly affirmation pages, ride a bike, eat brunch at Rise and Shine, decorate a Christmas tree, lay out on the beach, try a new food, go on a cute date, that's another story, <laughs> have a family day, send a postcard. I sent two postcards, one to my dad and one to my friend Owen, and then my friend never got his, which made me really sad because it was actually really cute. He knows, I sent him a picture of it, so I guess it's a thought that counts, but whatever. Shout out. I already know you're watching. I've just got a lot of different things. So some of the ones I had to change, I can't go skiing. I mean, I guess I, if I really wanted to, I could have, but I changed that to do a puzzle. I also changed pay off college debt because <laughs> I think I was just being ambitious when I wrote that down and I changed it to go to a GGE live show. I know they have nothing in relation to each other, but whatever. And then some of the ones I just completed this past month were go to a GGE live show, hold handstand for 10 seconds, New York City trip, get my film camera, pictures developed, go to a drag show, decorate a Christmas tree, surprise my sister for her birthday, for her 40th, learn a new hobby, and make Christmas cards. So those are some that I did recently. Oh, I also read five books. I finished my five books this past month, which was exciting. So before, New Year's Day, I have five more things to get done. The five things that I still need to get done are run a 5k, get bobo with my sister, make cookies, have a snowball fight, and make dinner. So today is, what's the date today? Today is the 29th. Okay, so that means I have today, tomorrow, and the 31st to get all of these, wait, is that real? Today's Thursday? Yeah. That means I have three days to get the next five things done. Should be good. This will be interesting because I've got three days to run a 5k. I just hit legs today because I did not plan out my week very well. My legs are literally screaming right now because honestly, calf workouts, calf workouts will destroy you. Like I did body weight calf raises and they're still dead three days later. I really want to run it tomorrow 
even if I'm dying, like I'm just gonna push through because that's like the one thing I really wanted to do and I still haven't done it. I did go for like a bunch of runs and walks when I was in AmeriCorps, but I was looking my Strava and I never saw anything that was 3.1 miles. So I probably ran it at some point, but I'm not gonna count it. So I just, I need to do it. Having a snowball fight, that'll be interesting because the weather right now, like we've got a little bit of snow on the ground, but it's really nice and sunny right now. Um, and I'm not sure if it's gonna snow anytime soon because we had like a whole snowstorm like a week ago. Yeah, maybe we'll just make like mini snowballs. I don't know. But yeah, so we've got those five things to do. I'm super excited. I'm almost done with my list of goals and I'm just gonna take you guys along with me. All right, let's go. Milk tea, and I got the Thai milk tea. I'd rate mine. That's a good rating. <laughs> what would you rate yours? Oh, like a five? A five? Okay, no, like a five would make average. Okay, fine. Oh, I like yours. No, I would rate this like. Well, now I feel like this is like a six. No, that's like a seven and a half or eight. This is a six. All right, we're done. Update, Brooklyn and I switched because this one's a lot better because it's sweeter. But I mean, she likes that one. All right guys, so we got our boba. It's really now or never to do this snowball fight because there is like no snow on the ground. So I'm just gonna go make some mini snowballs and throw them at my sister. <laughs> It's snowball ah! fight time! No snow! Oh my god, I almost... Brooklyn, let's have a snowball fight! Look, Brooklyn, there's snow right here. I'm making snowballs. Hi, buddy! No, don't eat my snowballs. Go, 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 go! No, no, Diesel, go! No, no! Get away from my snowballs! Also, fit check. My jeans, as always, my Gacor's boots, and this new corduroy jacket that I got from my dad for Christmas. I'm pretty sure it's from Hollister. Okay, so we've got all the little snowballs. See? If you want to have a snowball fight, you have a snowball fight. You don't need a lot of snow. Live your truth. Here we go. Brooklyn! like 10 tries to get my dad in the leg. <laughs> That is another thing checked off of my bucket list. So snowball fight and boba done. All right, three more things. Okay guys, we're cooking dinner now. I'm gonna be cooking with mom. You're ridiculous. <laughs> All right guys, we are cooking dinner now. Marking off the Third thing, we're making tacos. It's taco night. Ta it's today Thursday. Taco Thursday.
Look at this onion cutting skills. Ah, your star. <laughs> Okay, good morning guys. It is 9, 10 a.m. and I am on my way to a park so that I can run my 5K. It is Saturday, just kidding. It's Friday. It's Friday, December 30th and ah. So yesterday I had a leg day and I really thought that today I'd wake up feeling extremely sore but my legs are feeling pretty good. And I also went to bed really late because I'm just I did, not, I did not make a good decision, but I woke up before my alarm. I had my alarm set for eight and I woke up like five minutes before it. So I think that's a good sign. I'm gonna eat this like, I just have like some bread and peanut butter, honey, just to like give myself some carbs for this run. I mean, it's just a short run, so it's nothing crazy, but like I haven't ran in a while, but I'm just gonna go slow. All I wanna do is finish it because that's the goal is run a 5K. So let's go. We've made it to the park. I'm gonna stretch and then let's just go for my run. So I chose this place because it's just like a line that goes down along the lake. And I know the route so I know like where I'm at within my 5k I guess. So I'm gonna track it on my Strava and that's it really just like I said end goal is just to complete it. And honestly, like, I know I can do it. I'm just like, but here we go. Here we go. Okay, guys, this drama is going just past the start line, so let's go. in 2022 honestly i probably ran one before when i was in americorps but i didn't track it now i feel good my legs are really sore <sighs> just gonna walk it out i've got about a little over two miles walk back which will be a nice warm down but yeah whoop whoop. finishing up all of my 2022 bucket list goals <sighs> oh. Oh. oh my god Perfect timing because literally like the last two minutes of bucking back, it started to rain. I'm freaking tired though. Jesus. 
I'm just really happy that I did that 5k like I wasn't really sure no actually I'm not gonna lie like I knew I could do it I knew that no matter how much it hurt I was just gonna keep going and it did hurt a lot but it also kind of got me excited because I think like I've been saying that this year I want to start running a little bit more and me being able to just whip out a 5k which I know to some people that's like nothing but to me that's a lot like I've never been a long distance person and I know 3.1 miles is not long. I get that. It's not long at all for a lot of people, but for me, that's really long. I did track in like middle school for a week <laughs> and I literally did 50s and 100s. And so I haven't done like long distance, um, except for like the COVID pandemic when I did, I think eight or nine miles one day, but that was kind of like, I would stop and like stand and rest, like walk a little bit or whatever. So it was not like full on through, but I'm feeling good now. Okay, bye. Last but not least, we're making some cookies. Got these from the store. Well, actually, my parents got these from the store. <laughs> As they stand right next to me. I needed to make something really quick. Um, it's December 31st at 4.44 p.m. Look at that. Angel numbers. Anyway, I'm going out for New Year's Eve tonight with my friends, and I can't wait, but I really need to make these really quick so I can check it off my bucket list. So let's go. My setup right now is just a mess. Those are unevenly spaced. Brooklyn, I don't want to hear it right Are you now. cooking them all? Why don't you save some? You're bringing them to your party? Yeah, if they turn out good, I don't know now. What's yeah. You just say you want a cookie dough. So good. Can I have a bite? Yeah. Alright, these are going in. Alright, cookies are done and they're looking real nice. So I'm just gonna let these cool, pack them up, and then get ready for tonight. 2022 bucket list goals are complete. And no, that's a wrap. Awesome. All right, everyone. So I finally completed my 2022 bucket list goals. And I'm just so happy. It is December 31st, like six o'clock-ish. Honestly, I wanted to get this video out today, but what can I say? I'm always running late on that. But that is one thing I want to work on this year is just trying to plan a bit more and be more on top of my scheduling and videos and all of that. If you've seen some of my older videos, you know that a lot of my issues are because of like technicalities, but sometimes like today, today is like a very last minute thing anyway. Here's to the new years. If you're watching this, it's already January 1st because I'm definitely not gonna get it out until January 1st, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I hope everybody has a very happy new years. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok, and yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.